I'm still looking for the two chair conformers. I'm still doing the chair flip. Yes. And I'm looking for the most stable. What would this look like? Okay, so, um, sis, they're both going in the same direction. Good. And then one and two have two ethyl groups coming from it. Okay. So it'll look like this is my one like this. And actually, let's let's determine which one is one and two. Okay, perfect. Let's do this. So I'm going to do this as one. It's easier to, to think of the point. Uh -huh. And again, it, it goes back to these. Okay. Seeing like following the point. Yes. Okay. That Let's makes see. it simpler. That does help. Okay. So actually, I'm going to label this one one then. And this one too. Cool. And to make this easier, let's just, if it's axial, let's label it blue. If it's equatorial, let's label it purple. Oh, I like that. Okay. So equatorial, I'll do um, ethyl. That's two carbon. So would it just be like, because when I'm talking about like equatorial and axial, I'm mm -hmm. just talking about the one that's specifically branching off of the chair, right? Yes. Okay. So you're thinking of it like, if it's cis, I could either have it be up and up, right? Uh -huh. Or the opposite. We could have the option of having it be both down, right? Yeah. Down and down. So it's kind of just up to wherever that position is. Okay. So like in this case, if we wanted to go up and up uh, for both of these, uh -huh. you're deciding at one, what's the only thing that's pointing up? Equatorial. Equatorial. Mm -hmm. What's the only thing pointing up at two? Um, axial. Exactly. Okay. And that already kind of defines what it's going to be. Oh. And then same thing down and down. Oh, okay. Yep. Yay. Oh, I never understood that. I was like, why does it have? Oh, my gosh. Okay, so this one would be equatorial. Yay. Watch me forget that later. <laughs> and then this one would be axial. Oh, my gosh. Okay. And then make sure oh, it's, yeah. it's an ethyl. Oh, yes, that's true. Because right now we're showing a methyl. Mm -hmm. So I can go like this. Good. And then I can do this little guy, you know. Perfect. Angling it. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> and then it's also something to note that in case you're like, well, this looks like it's pointing down, mm -hmm. we're looking at that first bond. Okay. Like that's kind of, that's the direction we're, we're seeing. Oh, it's pointing up. Right. Versus here, I know that if something were here, it's pointing down, uh -huh. that axial. So perfect. Oh. Next... The chair flip is just the opposite. Right. Where would one and two be? Um, okay, so they would just move over one. Yes. So it would be one is up here now. At the point, exactly. And now two mm -hmm. is right there. Beautiful. Correct, okay. And then now, still continuing with these. Okay. So if this is equatorial, what is it now here? Now it's axial. Yes. Okay, and axial's blue. Okay, so it'll look like straight up mm -hmm. like this. Good. Yeah. And then two is still gonna go up. Yes. But it's just gonna be. I'll leave that <laughs> yes. Um, I'll point like towards the left, like that. And it's still ethyl, okay. so it'll still look like that. Something like that. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. If we ever kind of forget, you know, this is a good way to help us remember that this one points the opposite way, right? This one points to the right, mm -hmm. this one points to the left. And just yes. seeing that flipping. Great. And then plus, this is still up and up, right? This yeah. is pointing up. This is pointing up. This helps us see that it's really just the opposite, right? This mm -hmm. went from equatorial to axial, axial to equatorial, still pointing up. Yeah. Which one is the most stable? I don't remember how to tell because they both have equatorial. Good. And they both have axial. Is there a substituent that is larger than another? Yes, this one. Wait, actually, aren't they both the same? Because it'd be CH2, CH2. Exactly. There's two carbons, right? Carbon here, carbon here. Uh -huh. And it's diethyls, meaning there's two ethyl groups. Okay, yeah. So because they're basically tied. They're the same. Equally stable. Equally stable. I know. Why do they oh, got to throw that? Of course they do. Yes. <laughs> but this is a great example just in case you do see this. Okay. The more equatorial positions there are, the more, more stable that chair conformation is. Yeah. And then let's say if we had, this is just comparing it. Let's say if, I'm going to say this. If we're comparing these two. So let's not even look at the chair flip. Uh -huh. But we're just comparing these two. And actually, I ended up doing the chair flip correctly. Okay, great. <laughs> um, but which one would be better? This one. Why? Because there's more equatorial. So there's only, there's still only one equatorial position. Oh, that's true. There is. But there, I, But I'm this sure. is now larger. Larger Okay. Do we see that? Where I do see that. There is now three car two carbons, three here, yes. instead of just a two here. Exactly. The larger group wants to be in the equatorial position. Okay. 
okay. versus axial. So then in this case, this one would have been the most stable. Okay, that's a good thing, okay. And then I do want us to continue with this. Uh -huh. So that was just one option. What if we did down and down? So we can keep the numbering the same. Let's just now pick down and down. Okay, so still keeping equatorial on this one. But we can't. Oh my gosh, that's right, because it's axial. Okay, so we'll go like this. The only thing that's available that is pointing down is axial at that position. Oh, okay, I see. That's so interesting. Okay, so like, like that. Good. Um, and then up. Hold on. Down and down. Down and okay, down. I was like, that's what you said. Okay. Um, also axial. Well, no. What's the only thing pointing down in It'd that be position? Equatorial like this, be right? equatorial. Okay. Good. And then it'll look like that. Good. That's good, right? That's on good. That side? Okay. And then on the right side, let's see. Down and down, but then what's happening in the chair flip? I'll switch the kind of bond that's that's on it. So one will now have equatorial. Good. So it'll be like this. Except we're going down. Good. Good. You caught yourself. <laughs> so I'm like, there's so many things. Okay, so I'll go like that. Yeah. And I'm like, I'll put this as a reminder we're <laughs> down for each. It'll look something like that. Mm -hmm. And then still going down on this is two right here. Yes, this is two. Okay. So, I'll so be, I can make oh, that. Thank you. It'll be like that. Mm -hmm. Like that? Perfect. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So many things that I'm like, There are so many things. About. I know. Okay. And, and it's it feels tedious at times because uh -huh. you're like, okay, the chair flip. Wait, I now have to change the numbering. Wait, I also have to change yeah. oh, that, wait, that this is axial, axial. Oh, this is equatorial. Yeah. yeah. But main thing with these types of questions that incorporate the chair flip, that incorporate cis trans, mm -hmm. all you're looking for is you're saying, okay, first I start off with cis. What are my possibilities? Up and up, down and down. Yeah, okay, yeah. From there, number the chain. Uh -huh. Once I have that, I have to think at one, there's an ethyl. If I decided down and down in this case, uh -huh. what's the only position that is down? Axial. Axial, at that carbon. Mm -hmm. And again, it's dependent on wherever we decide to number this. Oh, okay, yeah, that does make sense. And then same thing here at two. Okay, I had to have an ethyl. I said down and down. Again, uh -huh. this is pointing down. Equatorial. And it doesn't matter if you decided to point it this way, this top guy, or angle it down. Okay. It doesn't matter, it's really just this, the first, the first bond, yeah, that first bond pointing in the down direction. Cool? Mm, that does make sense. That helps. Okay. That's it. And then, of course, in this case, yes, they're still both equally stable because they're the same groups mm -hmm. and they only have one equatorial. So if you like this practice problem and want to try another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire study session, click right here.